What is up gang? This is the Extin Featurette channel. I'm Chris and it's Friday so I have a Friday TGIX review video and today I'm going to be reviewing Dead and Buried, the new 4k release from Blue Underground. This was sent to me for review um, courtesy of them so I'm going to dive into it. I'm going to talk a little bit about the plot. No big spoilers, I won't spoil the ending. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about the, what this new release actually has packed in it. Three discs, so very, very cool. This was my first watch of this movie, um, 1981 release. And before I get into it, I want to do a little bit of this because I cannot tell you how many times I did that. Very, very sweet lenticular cover. So as soon as this movie opens, um, it's on a beach and this was filmed in Northern California, but it um, takes place in Maine. It did have a very coastal, I feel like, uh, New England feel to it. So pretty, pretty cool vibe. And um, it opens on the beach with a photographer taking pictures. And the first thing that I noticed was the music. It was very melodic and, um, and actually, on this release, one of the three discs that it comes with is a full uh, soundtrack. So, soundtrack CD, very cool. So, the music was just very beautiful. Um, really liked the score to this. The next thing that stuck out to me was, this is a 4K presentation. It says that we have, uh, it's scanned in 4K 16-bit from its 35 millimeter IP. So, new scan. Um, but it's so grainy. It opens in, on the beach and it was, there was so much grain. It's just not a not very clear picture. Um, there's parts that are better. There's parts that are definitely an improvement from the Blu-ray. Um, I will say it's not as dark. There's a lot more color to this, I would say, but um, if you're thinking this is going to be upgrade worthy from the Blu-ray, um, you know, it's, it's not going to be a crystal clear presentation of the, of the movie in any in any form. Um, I don't think that that is probably available for this film. Don't go into this expecting that you're going to be upgrading to a reference worthy 4K with crystal clear picture. So, um, you know, there are parts of the film that are beautiful. The um, one of the featurettes is locations and that was clear. The movie itself has very, very grainy spots. At any rate, we open with this guy on the on the beach. We never really learn his actual name. He's a tourist visiting this beach town and um, he's taking photos. He happens upon a lady. The camera kind of pans up from her toes to her, to her body and her, you know, face. She's staring at him like, hey. As soon as this woman was introduced, like, it turns from, uh, hey, you're pretty, let's take pictures of you, to, I want you to, I want you to do me right here, Freddie. And, um, you know, she opens her shirt and she's not wearing a bra and I'm like, you know, tell me if this is a thing, but uh, I coined this, um, you'll see this tactic a lot in especially 80s movies, but uh, 80s horror, but uh, I like to call it nip baiting, where you get uh, in the very introduction of the film, you get a glimpse of nip and then it never appears again in the, the rest of the movie. There's a lot of examples of this, but this was one thing where I was like, we're, we're seeing some nip very early on in the in this movie. so. Are we gonna see any more nudity? The answer is no, you don't. You don't see any more nudity after this first flash. So there's nip baiting is what I refer to that as. Let me know if that's an actual thing. Um, but that's what's going on here. So, you know, catching catching people's attention and very early on in the movie. It's so basically we're in a very small town. There's murders going on and um, and it, it's mostly strangers, strangers, like people that happen in, upon the town that um, are outsiders. They are brutally murdered one after another and the sheriff is trying to figure out what's going on. So he is, um, I guess, trying to work with the local undertaker, the, the mortician, and uh, he was a character in and of himself. He was this little old guy. Mr. Dobbs was the mortician in this, in this film and <laughs> I love him. Whenever he's introduced, he rolls up on this his first crime scene and he's listening to his signature is big band music. So he just like rolls up and he's he's jamming out some big band music and he like basically tells the cop to like hold on until until his song is finished playing. Total badass, like really really cool character. Um 
takes his job very seriously. So basically he and the sheriff are trying to figure out what's going on with all of these uh, murders and just mysterious activity in the town. I will say um, I was very impressed with this movie. Um, just I didn't read anything about it, didn't know anything about it, and I um, was going just 100% based on the title and the cover, and I thought that it was going to be a gore fest. That was not 100% of the movie. It, it did have a lot of really, really awesome gore, but it also had an amazing plot and uh, maybe a couple twists and turns. Pretty unexpected turns take place. This was directed by Gary Sherman. Stan Winston did the makeup effects, and he um, said in the featurettes that he did most of them 100% himself, so um, that was the main <laughs> The main takeaway from this movie is all the amazing effects um, that we get to see. I think that like most of the budget on this film was actually spent on the effects, which um, it was, you know, worth it. Something interesting about this movie is there is not one killer, uh, it is a group of killers. So it's kind of like the whole town per se, like bands together and is all part of this. So it's kind of like the town's like dirty little secret. Um, so they, they all are in on it together. And, you know, that's something that we learned from the very, very first scene. Whenever the first guy is killed, um, we know that the whole town takes place in doing that. All in all, it was a very unique movie. And I really don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to give anything away. Um, I do highly suggest it. It, it is a very, very fun ride. Um, I would say that it's a cult movie. You know, I. I have seen my fair share of horror movies and while you know I have seen this movie and heard of it never it never really um, you know was on my radar before this so that's interesting you know not really sure how this kind of missed me all these years but very very happy to own this now and be able to revis revisit it because it is a very fun watch um, this was it is so unique. It was um, written by Ronald Shusett and Dan O'Bannon, who did Alien, which was you know a couple of years before this, and um, you know Alien kind of like jump started the whole like sci-fi horror type type uh, genre. It kind of revitalized it. So this was I guess jumping in on that. Um, directed by Gary Sherman and like I said special effects by Stan Winston so can't miss those special effects very and actually there's a feature feature out with Stan Winston he said that one of his proudest uh, effects are in this movie so since I'm diving into the special features already why don't we just take a look at this beautiful release and see what we have there are so many new special features on this first of all so um, you know I already showed off the sick lenticular and I will continue doing that because I love it. <laughs> it doesn't get tiring. So this is a 94 minute presentation. We have um, four total audio commentaries. There is one that's totally new, all new with this release. We have audio commentary one with director Gary Sherman, audio commentary two with co-writer, co-producer Ronald Shusett and actress uh, Linda Turley, uh, audio commentary three with director of photography Stephen Poster, and uh, the fourth is the new audio commentary with film historians Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson, which I, I listened to that commentary and uh, very much, very much enjoyed that one. It, um, you know, a lot, a lot of the films that I've been watching recently have, like I've, I keep saying, it sounds like a podcast. It sounds like, you know, it sounds like a, you know, somebody talking about the movie rather than talking about the, the scenes as they unfold. And this was um, exactly what I enjoy. They were talking about the scenes, about um, you know relevant information as we see it. And I feel like that's what a commentary should be, commenting on the movie as it unfolds. So that was, um, you know, those guys did a, a, a really good job with the commentary, really enjoyed that and highly suggested. There was really uh, good information, so very cool to see that. The next all new special feature is Behind the Scenes of Dead and Buried, which was a 33 minute featurette. And they said that, um, the director said that whenever they were filming this, they had a bunch of, or maybe just one um, Super 8 camera with film in it. And um, they just said, here, you know, to anybody on set, you can just film whatever you want. 
and he said that at the end of the day they were um, they had 15 hours of film and he said that they kind of cut it down to 33 minutes um, so that ended up on this presentation so uh, we had and I watched some of it it, it was kind of like it had like a home movie feel which was really cool to see them back then actually doing the stuff but I honestly got kind of bored after 10 minutes and turned it off so it was really neat um, some really cool stuff and the director was talking about it you know it was kind of like a commentary on the behind the scenes more than I don't know, it was it was unlike any behind the scenes I've really seen. The next one was Dead and Buried Locations Now and Then, which was a very short featurette. It was I think four minutes. But in that featurette you got to see the you know, the full effect of the 4K uh, for the first time. You know, very, very clear pictures of what the town looks like now. Um, and it looks very similar. Like all of the buildings I think are still there and no major architectural changes have happened. So it's just very, very cool to check out. The next one is Murders, Mystery and Music, interviews with director Gary Sherman and composer Joe Renzetti. So like I said, the music was phenomenal in this and um, that was a really good feature. I watched the whole thing and they talk a lot about the decisions that they made and they talked about giving Mr. Dobbs the big band uh, kind of theme and making little tweaks to it and they talked about the things that they did with the score so the music feature it was all new and then we also have um, all new the pages of Potter's Bluff interview with novelization author Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough so um, you know I, I like I said this had flown under my radar for some time and um, had no idea that this was um, later turned into a novel so that's pretty interesting she talks about you know things involving that but honestly I again I turned that one off after like 10 minutes or so because I was like oh, I'm just not feeling this right now and then we have um, the rest of these features had previously been released they're not new but they are included in this in this beautiful release we have uh, Stan Winston's Dead and Buried Effects which I watched and was very very good and then uh, Robert Englund, uh, an early work of horror, is included on this. Dan O'Bannon, Crafting Fear. Uh, and then we have theatrical trailers, poster and still gallery, Stephen Poster's location stills. So all, like this is totally loaded. Anything that you could ever want about Dead and Buried is included on this release. So that is not all. That's only on the first disc. Then we have Dead and Buried Original Motion Picture Soundtrack CD by Joe Renzetti, which I mentioned, and that's super cool to have because like I said, it's a very, very good score. And bonus collectible booklet with new essay by Michael uh, Gingold. And that's it. So let's crack it on open and see what's inside. And I did post pictures of this on my Instagram. If you want to check out in detail and read the back and everything, it's there. I have my Instagram linked below in the description. So here is the, um, what we have whenever we open it up. And there's a reversible artwork as well. This is what we get whenever we crack it open. So we have two discs on this side that kind of slides up under. Here's the booklet. So under the booklet, we have the soundtrack CD. So that's there. And then we have the glorious ultra high def and the Blu-ray disc. So I'll show you kind of how it's one of those ones that kind of slides up in it. And that is that. I will flip around the artwork so we can see what that looks like. So whenever we give it the old flipperoo, this is the artwork that we have. Spine stays the same, but I will leave it like this because it is in variation to the old slip. So that is pretty much it. A very attractive release and um, very enjoyable. Like I said, this is pretty much the comprehensive uh, release of this. If you are a fan of this movie, there are lots of special features on here that you have not seen yet. And if, you, if you've never seen this movie like me, you definitely need to uh, see it somehow, some way, because it is, um, I would say it's a must see. I would give it that label. It is a must see. So um, definitely check it out and look at that. Beautiful. So many thanks to Blue Underground for sending this my way for review. So, so happy to own this now. Not sure how I missed it all that time. So many thanks to my new subscribers and everybody and everybody that takes the time to comment. Really love talking aliens. So thank you 
and I'm going to have a new review video next week. Won't you join me and see what that is? See you next time. Bye.